Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. In today's digital landscape, DDoS attacks are a common phenomenon, and understanding them is crucial to securing our online spaces. We are about to embark on a journey of unraveling these attacks, their types, and the anatomy of how they work. We'll also delve into the hacker's toolkit, focusing on Kali Linux, a popular choice for conducting such attacks. Buckle up because we're about to explore how these attacks work and how they can be executed using Kali Linux. DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. Imagine you're trying to get into a popular concert, but the entrance is blocked by a huge crowd, all trying to get in at once. That's what a DDoS attack does to a network. It floods it with so much traffic from multiple sources that legitimate users can't get through. The execution of a DDoS attack involves multiple computers, often part of a botnet, a group of hijacked machines controlled remotely, all sending requests to a single target at the same time. This overwhelming flood of requests is more than the target can handle, causing it to slow down or even crash. These attacks are not about stealing data or causing long-term damage. Instead, they are designed to disrupt the target's services making them unavailable to legitimate users. The goal? To create chaos, cause disruption and sometimes as a smokescreen for other malicious activities. So, the objective behind such attacks? Simply put, to make those services unavailable to legitimate users. How does it work? You might ask, well, let's break down the anatomy of a DDoS attack. It all starts with flooding resources. This is where the attackers unleash a torrent of traffic towards the target. This traffic can be in the form of HTTP requests, pings or other data. It's like a tidal wave of digital noise, all aimed at one place. This leads us to the second part of the attack, resource exhaustion. The sudden surge of traffic is too much for the target's online services to handle. Imagine trying to sip water from a fire hose. The target's servers, bandwidth or network devices get overwhelmed. It's like a stampede through a narrow doorway, causing everything to grind to a halt. So, in essence, a DDoS attack is a masterclass in digital chaos, creating a deluge that drowns the target's resources, leaving them gasping for air. And that, my friends, is how the target's servers, bandwidth or network devices get overwhelmed. DDoS attacks come in flavors. Each one is unique. But they all have the same goal, to overwhelm a target's online services. Let's break this down into three main categories. First, we have volumetric attacks. These are the most common type of DDoS attack. They work by flooding the target with massive amounts of traffic. Think of it like a highway during rush hour, with too many cars and not enough lanes. Next, we have application layer attacks. These are more sophisticated. They target specific services like HTTP or DNS instead of just bombarding the network with traffic. It's like a locksmith picking a lock instead of just trying to smash the door down. Finally, we have protocol attacks. These are the tricksters of the DDoS world. They exploit vulnerabilities in network protocols to cause disruptions. It's like finding a loophole in a contract and using it to your advantage. Protocol attacks exploit vulnerabilities in network protocols. Kali Linux is a hacker's Swiss army knife. This open source operating system is a go-to tool for cybersecurity professionals, and unfortunately, hackers as well. It's packed with hundreds of tools that can be used for a variety of cyber exploits, including the execution of DDoS attacks. One such tool is the Low Orbit Ion Cannon, or LOIC, a stress testing application that can be used to launch a DDoS attack by flooding a network with traffic. Another versatile tool is HPing3, which allows for the crafting and sending of custom TCP IP packets, essentially enabling a hacker to create a flood of data. However, it's not all about flooding. The Metasploit framework, another key component of Kali Linux, can be used to identify vulnerabilities within a system, potentially allowing a hacker to orchestrate a more targeted DDoS attack. Remember, these tools are powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility. Metasploit framework can be used for DDoS testing. Step by step, here's a hypothetical scenario of how a DDoS attack could be set up. Remember, this is purely educational, and such actions are illegal without explicit consent. Firstly, you would need to install Kali Linux on your machine. 
This open source operating system is often used by cybersecurity professionals for penetration testing and unfortunately by malicious actors for their nefarious deeds. Next, you would need to choose your tool. Kali Linux comes with several built-in tools that can be used for this purpose such as Loic, HPing3 or Metasploit. Each of these tools has its own strengths and weaknesses and the choice would depend on the specifics of the attack being planned. Once the tool is selected, the next step is to identify the target. This could be a specific IP address or a domain name. Finally, the attack is launched. The target is flooded with traffic, overwhelming its resources and making it inaccessible to legitimate users. Launch the attack, flood the target with traffic. Remember, DDoS attacks are illegal unless you have explicit permission. It's crucial to recognize that while the tools and techniques we've discussed can be used for malicious purposes, they can also serve as vital instruments for ethical hackers and cybersecurity professionals. Let's not forget that there's a difference between hacking and ethical hacking. Ethical hackers use these techniques to identify vulnerabilities, to strengthen systems and to prevent malicious attacks. This is known as penetration testing and it always operates within legal boundaries. If you're considering testing these techniques, make sure you do so in a controlled legal environment such as a lab or a virtual network you own. Moreover, remember that this information is presented for educational purposes. By understanding the risks and consequences associated with DDoS attacks is the first step towards creating a safer, more secure cyber world. So let's use this knowledge responsibly. Educational purposes, understand the risks and consequences. Yet, Cyber World YT Crew, knowledge is power. Use it responsibly. We've journeyed through the intricate landscape of DDoS attacks. From understanding what they are, their modus operandi, their various types, and how they can be executed using Kali Linux. Remember, this information is for educational purposes. DDoS attacks without explicit permission are illegal. So, equip yourself with this knowledge, but always act ethically. If you found this enlightening, hit that like button, subscribe, and join us as we continue to probe the darker side of cybersecurity. Until next time, stay curious, stay secure. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of DOS attacks. Remember, your knowledge is a powerful tool for understanding and countering these threats. Keep exploring, keep learning about cybersecurity. Until next time.